Hi, my name is Vitaly Pitsuk and today I will be presenting our paper titled Black Box Explanation of Object Detectors via Saliency Maps. Saliency Maps have become a popular tool for analyzing and explaining neural network models. These heat maps show which regions of the input are more important for the model's prediction. In this image, the lioness face is the most important area for this image being classified as a lion. Existing saliency approaches primarily focus on the classification task. In this work, we targeted previously underexplored task of object detection. If applied directly to the detection models, classification saliency methods fail to produce high-quality explanations. In this figure, you can see how the gradients and gradcam methods highlight multiple objects in the image when trying to explain a single bounding box. DRISE is our proposed approach. Even though object detection task requires the model to localize the object within the image, localizing the areas of the image important for a particular detection is a separate task. These areas might not coincide with the object. For example, the model can use ski poles to detect skis. Take this detection of a tennis racket. How different parts of the image contribute to this detection? We address this question by measuring how different perturbations of the input affect the output of the model. We feed the masked images through the object detector, and for each of them, it returns a set of detection proposal vectors. To compare the detection that we would like to explain and every detection proposal vector produced by the model, we propose a similarity metric that I will present in a moment. We use this metric to compute similarity scores for each mask, and once we have them, we compute the saliency map as a weighted sum of masks. Only when the mask preserves some important area, the object would still get detected and the mask will get a high score. The results in sum then will have high values only in the important areas. Now I will talk about the similarity metric. Both detection vectors, target and proposal, consist of three parts – localization, classification and object score. Similarity score is computed using the similarities between the three individual components. For the localization parts, we compute intersection over union of the bounding boxes. For the classification parts, we compute cosine similarity of two class distributions. And for the objectness, we simply use the objectness value of the proposal. We multiply these three values to compute the similarity score between any two vectors. Multiplication models the logical end operation. If any of the factors is close to zero, we would like the similarity value to be close to zero as well. DRISE does not require any knowledge of the internal structure of the model, and it can be applied to any model that produces detection proposals. In our experiments, we show that it works for one-stage detectors, such as YOLO, as well as two-stage detectors, such as FASTER or CNN. To evaluate the results generated by our method, we use metrics adapted from the classification saliency literature. Poison game metric measures how often the saliency peak falls within the bounding box or segmentation mask of the object. Deletion and insertion metrics measure how quickly the model performance changes when changing the image according to the saliency maps. Our method shows better performance according to these metrics when compared to classification baselines. We also show that DRISE helps users pick a stronger model provided the saliency maps. We show that DRISE can be used to analyze different failure modes of detectors. For example, in this case, a dog is misclassified as a cat. The difference between normalized saliency maps for the prediction and the ground truth suggests that the reason for this error was the dog's black fur and the tail. To go from individual saliency maps to more general explanations, we have computed average saliency for different categories. This allowed us to find some common patterns in the data and model behavior. As an example here, you can see that both YOLO and FASTER RCNN models on average pay more attention to the upper body when detecting a person. Saliency maps have also showed us that the model has learned to use human legs and faucets to detect snowboard and sink respectively. To further analyze the ability of DRISE to point to the correlation in the dataset, we have trained YOLO on an intentionally biased dataset. We have placed a special marker, in this case a blue circle, in the top left corner of every bounding box containing fire hydrant in the training set. The detections of the newly trained model are now affected by the marker placement. Other objects with a marker can now be detected as a fire hydrant. DRISE saliency maps correctly point to the marker as an important feature when the model detects both a real and a fake fire hydrants. Average saliency map also shows that the top left corner is the most important area for this class. Thank you for watching and huge thanks to my collaborators.